you have control. Towards uh, Montreal, we've been cleared. Uh, we were, went out on a heading of um, a runway heading extension of 057, and leaving, uh, I believe it was around 4,000 feet, we were cleared direct to uh, Messina. So we're going to Messina, which is uh, just a little bit west of uh, Montreal, and from there we'll be doing the arrival on to runway 24, uh, probably 24 right, the uh, northern parallel runway in Montreal. So a very routine uh, a departure out of Toronto. They're, uh, they're pretty efficient. The only real uh, restrictions are that uh, if we lost an engine, as I had said earlier, we would have had to maintain, before any turns off of runway 06 left, we would have had to maintain uh, 2,000, uh, or runway heading rather, to 2,200 feet before proceeding off the runway center line, off that heading. Uh, noise, they don't like to turn below uh, 3,000 feet uh, above ground, which uh, we kept a nose high attitude and a, a speed back a little bit until we reached that 3,000 uh, above ground altitude. And then we uh, started to accelerate. We uh, put our flaps up on uh, schedule above 1,000 feet uh, above ground. And um, so it was a very, very efficient uh, departure. They say it's normally like that out of Toronto. They're very good. Uh, they want to get you out and on your way and uh, out of their hair sort of thing. So uh, everybody's happy. Airline's happy because it's making money, not burning too much gas, detouring. Standard 2992, Standard 2992 inches set. Landing lights are in. Okay, Lee, uh, it all checks out. When you're ready, I'll brief. I'm ready. Okay, this will be a um, Cedar 7 arrival into uh, Montreal Dorval. Chart 10 to Bravo, effective 8th of April 2010. We're going to be approaching Messina. From Messina, we're going to be going over Franks. And for runway uh, 24 left and right, at or below 16,000. From Franks, we'll be going to Como, then to Bivro, to cross Bivro, at or above 6,000, that all checks out in the box. Then to Avil, at or above 3,000, max 200 knots, and then a 058 heading, unless they close us off for Lona, uh, which is uh, at or above 3,000. For the ILS, on 24 right in Dorval, chart 11-5, 6th of February, 09. Loc IZZ 111.9, 238 degrees, final approach course. The uh, Jerry 1740, DA 306 on the barometric altimeter. Monitor or announce 100 above a minimum, I'll call any or go around. In the event of a go-round, I will call go-round flaps simultaneously climb to 3,000 on a track of 238, right turn to the Montreal VOR and hold. It all checks out in the box. The uh, highest quadrantal is uh, 3,300 feet, all quadrants actually, based on the uh, Montreal VOR. Visibility requirements are RVR 2,600 or a half, And it'll be config three, auto brake low. I'll plan on uh, 24 right, turning off on Bravo two. If I remember, I'll call you auto brakes off at uh, some point and uh, turn off the runway and uh, wait for clearance across 28, uh, 10. I'll monitor your announce, 100 above the minimum. Okay, any questions? No questions. I think I've covered it all. Information uniform. We have uniform. Sure. Hey. Lee, I have control. For, uh, the uh, pre-descent check, please. You have control. Pre-descent checklist, the approach briefing completed, landing data set, pressurization checked, ECAM status checked, and nav accuracy checked. Checked. Pre-descent checklist complete. Thank you. On the left side of the aircraft, you'll see uh, Mount Royal, 
Mount Royal. That's a nice view. Uh, it's a nice clear evening as well, so uh, might get a nice view of that. Other than that, you'll see uh, Air Canada's headquarters, where we all started. Air Canada 832, when ready, descend level 290. Flight level 290, uh, when ready, Air Canada 832, heavy. Air Canada 832, roger, and call Montreal now, 134-907. 134-907, Air Canada 832. 290 is set. Five out of one. Two four six five. Bears can four zero ten six. Thanks. Good night. Montreal Air Canada eight three two heavy. Flight level three three zero. Clearance down to two nine zero. Air Canada eight thirty two heavy. Montreal Center. Good evening. Runway two four eight for you. Information is uniform, and you may continue your descent to eight thousand. The altimeter is two nine seven seven. So we check 2977 down to 8,000 uh, feet. We have information uniform. We check 24 right. Air Canada 832. Okay. Air Canada 832 and the descent when you're ready. Air Canada 832 descent our discretion. Okay, 8,000 is set. Okay. I'm starting down now. Leaving 330 for 8,000. Mock descent. Montreal, Air Canada 832 Heavy, 132 for 9,000. Air Canada 832 Heavy, Montreal, Bonjour identified. Uh, proceed direct to Avil for 24 right at Trudeau, altimeters 2977, maintain 8,000. Hey, direct to Avil, uh, 2977 and down 8,000, Air Canada 832. Sure. Tango Mike, uh, Zulu, for further vectors, contact terminal right. on uh, 1189. Perform when you're ready, flight plan, weight, plot fuel, FCU. FMA, PFD, and D. Lights on, seatbelts on, landing data set. Review the set. Auto brake is low, nav accuracy is checked, in range checklist complete. Thank you. Montreal arrival, Air Canada 832 Heavy, level 6000. Air Canada 832 Heavy terminal, descent to 3000. Descent 3000, Air Canada 832 Heavy. Now, François 48, descendez 3,000 pieds, vous êtes autorisé pour approcher l'ESD. 3,000 set, 3,000 set. En descente, vous êtes trop bien autorisé à approcher l'ESD. Et François Saddle, open the set. 3,000 set. Gotcha. Jazz 723, reduce speed at 2,000. 200 knots, Jazz 723. Air Canada 832, turn right heading 090. Right 090, Air Canada 832. Euh, le tour 99, bonne soirée. Air Canada 832, reduce speed 190 knots, you're following the uh, 747 there. Back to 190 knots, Air Canada 832. Uh, 732, I'll bring Inside. you uh, back very soon. Flaps one, please. 4,000, Jazz 723. Ultra leave 4,000 for 3,000. Air Canada 832, turn right heading 210, intercept, clear that left, too far right. Right 210 to intercept, clear that left, too far right, Air Canada 832. Cat 3 dual autopilot 1 and 2. Cat 832 reduce and maintain speed 170 knots to Jerry. They reduce to and maintain 170 knots still Jerry or Cat 832. Oak Star. 723 clear dial S24 right. Clear dial S24 right Jazz 723. Two calls are now one one nine nine. Four ninety nine. Air Canada eight three two. Stay. Twelve. Flaps two, please. Tower, good day. Air Canada eight three two heavy. ILS two four right. Copain un zero one. Contact the the department. Un un deux. Camp de France six five. Gear down. Air Canada eight three two heavy. Montreal Tower. Wind two five zero at the seven. Altimeter two nine or seven seven number. Caroline runway 24 right. Uh, expect uh, golf taxiway. Bravo to is close. Can we check uh, golf taxiway and we're clear land uh, 24 right. Air Canada 832. Thank you. Lap two. Lap three. 
Jerry was uh, 2240 miles per hour. Jerry, thousand feet set. Flap three. V app one three five auto thrust. Speed. And landing memo. No blue. No blue. Third land. At 47, just rolling out ahead of us. He's getting close to the uh, turn off at the end. Yes. Auto pass off. Cat three single. Cat one. Whiskey Eco Tango, Tour de Montréal, bonjour. Sortie Ville Marie, 2000 pieds est approuvé. Rappelez qu'il est en la sortie. Montreal Tower, bonjour, Jazz. 723. It is Victor, cleared the island for the 248. Jazz, 723, Montreal Tower, good day. Wind 260, 9, altimeter 2977, number 2. Land Green, Roger. Right. Expect the echo. If not, all the way to Gulf, the Bravo 2 is closed. 100 above. Very good, 297. Roger. We have set uh, clear to land, 24 right. We're going to fly an echo, Jazz, 723. Minimum. Runway in sight. Landing. One hundred. Fifty. Thirty. Retard. Reverse screen. Auto brakes are off. Manual braking. And tower you see 5168, uh, holding short 249. 70. Air Canada 832, all the way to Gulf on Gulf contact, tape run 122, this small 07. On Gulf 12207, Air Canada 832. How was that? How did the landing feel back there? <laughs> Perfect. Good. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to be here. Now I suppose uh, some of our passengers get off. They treat us to rapid air as well, don't they? Yeah, some will get off, some will get off. Now, uh, do the uh, the Brussels bound ones stay on? Actually, yeah. everybody gets off. Oh, they do? Completely uh, service the cabin again. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, then, beamer lights are off. That's good. They prepare the thing for the uh, crossing. And we will go to the uh, satellite station to get our flight plan for the overseas portion. 